In order to start the Pulseway 6.0 migration, you'll need to log in as an administrator. To make the transition smooth, our interactive wizard will guide you through the migration process. On the first step, you'll get to define the first organization and site where your existing groups will be migrated to. We've introduced the team concept. All users will now belong to teams. A team will have access to defined organizations, sites, and agent groups. There is a built-in administrator's team and all users within that team will have full access to all systems and features. On step two, you can move out users that should not be administrators into a separate users team. Once the upgrade is complete, your entire team will be able to collaborate and use all the product features such as reports, automation, patch management, and deployment. Let's get started by creating an organization, which could be a customer or an internal IT department. For example, let's pretend this is your internal IT department and let's label it Contoso. Your IT department might have multiple locations, so let's break that down by sites. We'll go ahead and create a site for our New York location. In New York, you might have different types of systems that might need to be in different groups. So for example, we have some critical servers. Let's create an agent group for them. To start monitoring our systems, we'll need to go ahead and download a personalized installer, which comes pre-configured from the group we've just defined. If we are on site, we can either install it ourselves or we could send the agent installer to someone in that location. You can also go to the download page from the top navigation bar and download your personalized agent installer at any time you want. I'm going to go ahead and create a notification and configuration policy for our server group so that we can monitor, manage, and get notified for the things that are important to us. Group policies provide centralized management of your Pulseway agent configuration. The next step is to create a team. A team is a group of users that have specified access and permissions to defined organizations, sites, and agent groups. As an example, let's go ahead and create a team for junior IT admins that recently joined our company. We're going to give them read-only access to the Contoso organization so that this team of junior IT admins can view the configuration of Pulseway features, but they can't change any configurations or send any commands. You can further define access by setting permissions to specific features such as billing, automation, reporting, patch management, and many more. Each user has a list of devices registered under their account. A monitoring device can be a tablet, phone, or a web browser. For example, you might give your business phone full access to systems, but you might not want your home tablet to have control over critical servers. So, you can give read-only access to that device. To seamlessly mass deploy agents across your network, you'll promote a registered system to a discovery probe. That probe will scan and discover all systems within the network it's on. You'll select the systems you want to monitor and enter the local administrator credentials. The systems will be automatically placed under the same organization and site as the discovery probe, but you'll get to select the agent group. Once you select the start button, the deployment process will begin and we will have full visibility of the network. We hope you enjoy the new release and welcome to Pulseway 6.0.